Uh, All right, yeah. so it's time for Around the Corner this week. We went to the Museum of Native American History. We want you to check it out. On this episode of Around the Corner, we're here in Bentonville at the Museum of Native American History. Yeah, it's a popular place for the whole family, especially the local school districts around here. They say they're booked up for field trips every day the month of November. Yeah, and the history starts as soon as you walk in the door. Let's check it out. This is Tusker, one of 10,000 artifacts that tells a story spanning 24,000 years. Yeah, here. that's a lot of years to cover. Yeah, I think we should maybe split up so we can show them everything, yeah? That's yeah. it. One of the best things about this museum is they have a lot of artifacts from right here in Arkansas and Oklahoma. And I think this exhibit is certainly red carpet worthy. Take a look. It's a bunch of the native pottery that was made all put here in one place. Now, this is amazing quality pottery, really old, but they had a lot to work with. The Cato people here, you can see how dark these artifacts are versus the Quapaw. This is a little bit lighter in red, it just depending on what elements they pulled from the river. Now, one of the most important things, take a look at this exhibit here. Now, a lot of these artifacts aren't necessarily from this area, but they came from the spiral mounds in Oklahoma, where a lot of historians will tell you that the spiral mounds was a vast trade center between the natives. Really excited to show you guys the headdresses. Unmatched beauty here. These are from the tribes of the plains. Learned about these eagle feathers, okay? They were given in acts of bravery or moments of honor. And over a period of time, it could lead to an honor like this. Now, when you think of the typical headdress, this is probably what you're imagining in your mind. But it wasn't uniform across the nation, no. Different tribes had their own ways of doing it, like the Blackfeet of the Southwest. Same tradition, same honor, different look. So I want to show you my favorite part of the museum. Of course, it has to do with fashion. So take a look at this. These are original garments from the Osage Nation in Oklahoma set in the 1900s. A wealthier woman might wear this on a daily basis. And then this right here, this is what you'd wear if you were a bride in Osage Nation. So Killers of the Flower Moon, the movie out right now with Leonardo DiCaprio, maybe you've heard of it. They actually called the museum and wanted to study these outfits for themselves. So the Osage consultant came here to the museum, took measurements, studied these garments, and now when you go and see the movie, you might see things that look pretty similar to this. And when you're done exploring inside, you can head outside for an old fashioned arrowhead hunt. Yeah, definitely. You have the tools and you're guaranteed to find one. You can bring the whole family. Yeah, when you walk outside, they'll hand you a shovel and a rake. We need to keep digging, guys. Yeah. We'll see you next time oh. on Around the Corner. I seriously just found one, though. That's not an arrowhead. Yes, look, is. look, look. That's an arrowhead. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, they have uh, sprinkled hundreds. Uh, oh, there's so many. Because they do, they've got school trips that come through all the time, and then they do that for any of their guests. So they've put so many arrowheads out there that you start moving some rocks, you'll find some. Yeah, we gave you the arrowheads we found. You took them to the kiddos. Yeah. What did they did think? They Megan had never seen them before, and I think I may have scared them a little bit because <laughs> I was like, these are sharp. He's like, I don't know why you're giving me these. <laughs> right? Uh, but I was like, no, things. no, no, it's, it's fine. Uh, uh, so they're kind of sitting on my dresser off to the side. He's confused. <laughs> but he thought they were cool. No, a really neat, uh, went to the gift shop there. I got the kids uh, um, some cool little kid books and uh, yeah, I got some neat. cool stuff too. Yeah, yeah. Dude, ten thousand like artifacts. A hairpin, like a, a hairpin. It was made. beautiful. Yeah, it was gorgeous. So, yeah. I don't know the exact details, but I did ask her like, hey. This is one of how many? And she's like, this is really just kind of like one of one for the, this kind of stuff mm -hmm. in the country. It's, there's for not sure. many other options to see what you could go see here mm -hmm. in five countries. You've yeah. got to check it yeah. out.